What do, you, what do you think about all the criticism county commissioners have been getting in their spending prices, practices, Mr. Some of it is, uh, is unfair criticism. Some of it we can profit by, the criticism that we've had. Do you think the commissioners are just uh, serving as a political football? In a sense, that's right. Trying to do a good job and then being bitterly criticized for it. The man that doesn't do anything never is criticized. I doubt seriously if those that are criticizing would do any better than job than we're doing. So if they had the same funds to spend or the same amount of responsibility that we have. If you had the, uh, they had their job, though, would you make any changes in state laws? Well, I don't know that I would. Um, I would make some, yes, I would uh, change some of the state laws in regard to purchasing. I think a man that is elected in his respective district should have full authority and full power to purchase as he sees fit. I know that my people are pretty well pleased with the way we've handled the situation in Cowboy County. What do you find is the most important use of the panel? On uh, instrument landing systems and uh, omni ranges and uh, TACAN, which is the uh, tactical air navigation system. Then when you find a discrepancy in some of these instruments flying here, uh, you can advise the airport of that and then it's, it can be repaired after that. That's right. It's our job to see that these signals and the information that is being put out to the pilots is accurate.
Well, the split among repeal forces hurt the chances of repeal. Oh, yes. I think that if Mr. Moskowski will go along with Mr. Edmondson, that we just won't have any trouble on this repeal business at all. I think the people are ready for it. But I do think it's an undercurrent force that is trying to disrupt the entire program. Oh, I wouldn't think it will. Why not? Well, because I think just about everybody has their mind made up as to about uh, what they're going to do about it, and I don't think they'll be persuaded to one way or the other. I'm inclined to believe that it will. Why? Uh, I think any split forces in the column of concentrated effort is uh, more than apt to weaken it, in my opinion. Chuck, offhand, I don't know. I think it depends uh, more on what the next couple of months brings forth. If the forces can get united, if uh, some adjustment or compromise can be made, I think we have a good chance of uh, repealing prohibition. If the fight continues and factions continue, then I think it's a matter of divided we fall. Well, definitely, uh, well, if it's kept on uh, very much longer. Why? Uh, it will cause confusion in the people's minds. We'll give the United Drives a great uh, deal more ammunition to fight repeal with. I would be for anything and keep these other states from getting all the money because they're going to get the whiskey, that's for sure. Everybody, I don't know of anybody that, that wants whiskey can't get it. That little 10-year-old boy, that preacher talked about it, can get it just as easy as you and I can, like it is now. And if we had it legalized, well, then you'd have to buy it legal, just like any other state. I mean, it's a, it's a disgrace the way it is. Now, an absolute public disgrace to give all this money to these other states, you know. Like, well, even I get sort of laughing at us for giving them so damn much whiskey business. Do you think there's any danger that it won't pass because repeal forces disagree so much? Well, I think the people are so disgusted and so fed up with it now, I think they're voting for it no matter how split up they are. I really believe that. I think they're, they're just completely disgusted with it. Uh, no, uh, I don't really believe it will for the simple reason that uh, the people that are, uh, uh, want the open saloon would, uh, are still going to vote for the package stores if the open saloon bill doesn't go over. I mean, they still want whiskey regardless. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. pay $30,110 the first year, and about $33,000 the second, and thirty-five the third, with a stipulation in there that uh, if uh, they were losing money at the end of the third year, they could be released, an escape clause in it. And uh, we turned that over to uh, Ross Taylor, the proposal to Ross Taylor, who's a consulting engineer in, uh, in our CPA, and they're now studying it. And if, uh, when and if they give us our report, well, uh, we will forward that immediately to the bond company. And uh, uh, let you know any, anything else that develops on You can go to the Lake Mary, you've got a wonderful lodge down there. Best fishing in the world. Building a lot of roads. And all we need to do is just a little help. And the money comes from down in there. And by George, we want our part of it. 